Well, it is a reality. Uh, I mean, under the continuing resolution, uh, we have had to make some of these very um, prudent belt tightening measures. So they're already in effect. Um, sequestration, of course, hasn't taken effect yet, and we hope that it won't. We still hope that Congress will act to avoid sequestration. We still hope that we'll be able to get an appropriations bill so that we can turn some of these reversible decisions around. Um, but the, the impact's going to be probably felt mostly in the realm of training and maintenance because there's going to be some work that we're not going to be able to do on ships and aircraft, uh, and there's probably going to be some uh, training evolutions that will either be curtailed or canceled. Now, what I want to make sure I get across is that the goal here is to preserve the readiness of our forward deployed forces. Those ships, aircraft, sailors that are forward deployed right now, they're going to get everything they need to continue to do the job. That's the goal. We're also putting a heavy focus on what we call the next to deploy forces. So these are the groups that are beginning to work up now or are working up now to go relieve those forces that are forward deployed around the world. They're still going to get uh, the support that they need to get ready to go. But there is a ripple effect here. If you start to cancel shipyard periods, and we are already beginning to do that, and you're going to cancel depot maintenance on aircraft, um, it will eat into our readiness uh, in future months and future years. So there's a ripple effect here uh, that, will, that will take place. But largely, I think, for uh, sailors right now, the impact they'll feel will be the things like travel, uh, attendance at conferences, uh, and um, perhaps some of the operating support there on their bases.